Hello everyone and welcome back. Today, I have something truly enjoyable for you all. It is so choice. Something to cleanse the palate after the last few days of unrelenting media gaslighting. So after the death of Queen Elizabeth, there's been these growing cries from leftists in the UK and here in America about the alleged need for slavery reparations. There's all kinds of obvious flaws with this misguided idea, not least of which, who would actually get it? That brings us to demoted Don Lemon, who Who's about to show us exactly why he's now a morning guy and why he should have come prepared. And then you have the, those who are asking uh, for reparations for colonialism and they're wondering, you know, $100 billion, $24 billion here and there, $500 million there. Some people want to be paid back and, uh, and members of the public are wondering why are we suffering when you are, you know, you have all of this vast wealth. Those are legitimate concerns. Well, I think you're right about reparations in terms of if people want it, though, what they need to do is you always need to go back to the beginning of a supply chain. Where was the beginning of the supply chain? That was in Africa. And when that crossed the entire world, when the slavery was taking place, which was the first nation in the world that abolished sla uh, slavery? The first nation in the world to abolish it. It was started by William Wilberforce, was the British. In, in Great Britain, they abolished slavery. 2000 naval men died on the high seas trying to stop slavery. Why? Because the African kings were rounding up their own people. They had them on cages waiting in the beaches. No one was running into Africa to get them. Uh, this is ridiculous. You are gaslighting people. You are giving people misinformation. What are you doing? God, ugh. And I think you're totally right. If reparations need to be paid, we need to go right back to the beginning of that supply chain and say, who was rounding up their own people and having them handcuffed in cages? Absolutely, that's where they should start. And maybe, I don't know, the descendants of those families where they died at the, in the high seas trying to stop the slavery, that those families should receive something too, I think, at the same time. It's an interesting discussion, Hillary. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. We'll continue to, to discuss in the future. <laughs> Everything she just said there is absolutely 100% true, but also utterly inconsistent with the left's narratives. None of these people like Don Lemon are interested in factual history because that doesn't help them to advance their agenda. They're into rewriting history ink sock style and alternate reality fan fiction like The Woman King, where the people who actually captured and sold African slaves are portrayed as heroic warriors who almost effortlessly demolish white oppressors. We are the spear of victory! When in reality, it was more like We are the spear of victory! All right, folks, hit that like button, share this video, subscribe, and let us all know what you think about Don Lemon's brutal education in the comments. Thanks a lot.